Morning. Um, on behalf of the Mass Small Business Development Center, I want to welcome you to creating a website. Um, we're delighted to have you all here. I think most of you know who we are, but for those of you who don't, we provide very confidential business advising to people thinking about starting a business and for those already in business to anything they need assistance with. We also conduct about 20 workshops a year on small business related topics. We're really delighted um, to do this workshop again. We did it once before. And it's really a very good workshop. Um, I just want to say a little bit about Natasha and um, Tamar. And Natasha is the managing director and of business development, and she's a co-founder of TNR Global. And she's responsible for their operations management and business development. She has over a decade of experience in finance and business development. Tamar manages the Joomla projects at TNR Global. She's an experienced technical and marketing writer and has written manuals, specifications, user guides, and articles for high tech and financial firms in the United States and Israel. So please, um, we have from the MSBDC, welcome Tamar and Tasha. So it's at 11 to 11.15 and 1 to 1.45. Those are two breaks, snacks, and if you would like some sugar boost during the seminar way with me as well, uh, we have some more candies to um, pass around. With regard to what you have on the table, this piece of information is very important. The first piece is this. Um, this piece. Does everyone have this? Okay. So we will be working with live Joomla sites, which means when you finish the seminar, if you are interested to proceed with the same site and keep building it, <coughs> so you will have that option and, and opportunity. For those of you who are here just for the first time and just learning about website creation and may not have a great idea yet as to how, where you're gonna take it, my sense after the seminar, you may not be just there, but some of you really already have web websites and I saw uh, when you signed up. And if you would like to take it to the next step, you will have that option after the seminar, okay? So with this, you will be able to log in and tomorrow we'll walk you through how to log in to each of your sites, mm -hmm. okay? The important part is we pass around the sign up sheet and we may have to do it one more time because we need your student ID. If you decide to be in touch with us after the seminar, we will need to know what site you're working with so we can help you possibly after the seminar. Okay, so if someone could let me know where is this sign up sheet so we don't lose that information. And it's scary, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can have the student number. Okay, great. Um, and then there are a few other pieces of information here. Two of them you don't need to worry about just yet, and I wanted to make sure you know so. Um, an evaluation form, we would be grateful if you uh, fill it out after the end of the seminar or by the end of the seminar. It helps us improve as we go. It helps us 
to make sure that we meet the expectations of participants. So we would really, really appreciate it. There is another piece of information that I don't have in my hand. It is actually what you will need to do after the seminar to be able to work with your website. So those two, um, and it actually says after the seminar. So those two you don't need to worry about, um, and the only, these two are the uh, pieces of information we'll go with during the seminar. Okay, does everyone have this? And with this, I'll let them mark to step in. Hello, hi everybody. Okay, so um, we're going to assume you know why it's good to have a website. I don't need to talk you into anything. Either you have one already or you want one. Websites are good. Yes, everyone's with me. Great. Okay, um, we're going to instead focus on things you can do with your website, how to create a website, what Joomla is, um, and all the fun stuff like that, which I think is quite fun, which I hope you enjoy it as well. Louder? Louder. Okay. If you can't hear me, just you know, raise your hand or yell or something. Okay, so... Um, Joomla is what we call a content management system, a CMS. You don't need to know this, but if everyone says CMS, you know Joomla is a CMS. And that means that you can manage content with it. You can also add things to it, like forums, uh, photo galleries, um, anything you can think of pretty much you can add. So it's not just content. It's, it's actually a way of building complex websites um, easily and quickly and very powerfully. And so that's what we're going to be working with, a system called Joomla. It's a word from Swahili, which means all together, which you will never need to know. But if you do, it's great trivia. You know, I work with Joomla. It means all together in Swahili. Um, so we're going to, I'm actually going to be standing over there for most of the time because I need to be controlling the computer. And you'll see on the screen what's going on. This is a live website, student1workshopjoomla.com. And you all have on these cards what your website is. So you might be student2 dot workshopjumlo.com, student3, blah, blah, blah. So on your own computer, everyone make sure you can open up a web browser. Firefox is good. And, and go to the front end of your website, which is listed on your card. So it'll start with student and then your number, dot workshopjumlo.com. And it should look just like this. And if it doesn't, let me know. Is there anyone not with me so far? OK, good. We're not going to talk today about e-commerce. This was mentioned in the description. This is basically, um, so there's no secure sites here, no shopping carts, just so you know. You can do that with Joomla, and you can do that after this, after this workshop if you want, either by yourself or with a consultant. But we're not going to deal with that today. 